In this tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to make a simple animation with this rectangle right here. We'll be telling Java that we want this rectangle to be moving from the left to the right. Before we begin, make sure that you implement an interface which is Action Listener. If you don't know what implement does, then I'll explain. This one right here works the same as the, the extends. So the reason why we didn't use the extends is because that this right here is not a class. This one right here is an interface. So yeah, make sure that you import the action listener from the library. After you get that done, then let's make a timer object. The timer object is the GUI version of the sleep method. So this one right here is good to use for animation. So new timer. So we, ha we have to import the timer from the javax.swing. So choose this one right here. Once you're done with that, then we have to type in two arguments. Like I said before, the timer is the GUI version of the sleep method. So let's put it to sleep for like five milliseconds. And for the second argument, we'll use the action listener. This right here is referring to the action listener right here. Once you get done with that, then now let's make two variables. So int x and vel x. This x right here represents the position horizontally of the frame or the panel. This right here represents the speed of the moving rectangle. So let's put this as zero because I want to start the rectangle at the edge of the window and this right here let's make it to 2 so let's replace the 30 with the X so X and after that we have to use this variable TM dot start so this right here is telling Java that we want to start the timer so yeah it'll start the time and then it'll start the action listener so in order to use the action listener we have to use the action performed method so public void action performed action event e import this action event now it's over here and now let's make the curly braces alright well now inside of this action perform method we have to type in x equals x plus velocity x so yeah x is zero so yeah it will be zero but like if I do like 2 plus 0, the new x will be 2. When I keep going, it'll be like 2 plus 2 equals 4. So yeah, it's, yeah, we're telling Java to move the rectangle from 0 to the right. And it's increasing by 2 every time. After every time when 5 milliseconds have passed. So now... After this, we have to type in a built-in method, which is repaint, open close parentheses, and a semicolon. So what this method do, or does, is that um, it repaints the rectangle every 5 milliseconds. When the 5 milliseconds is up, then it will repaint it across the screen, actually. So now let's run it and see what it looks like. Now we have a moving rectangle. 
but I want to tell Java that I want this rectangle to be bouncing on the edge of this window and it will be coming back towards this side. So in order to do that we have to use the if statements. So if x x is less than 0 or x is greater than 550. Yeah, our window is 600 by 400. The reason why we didn't use 600 is because that this x right here is going with the top left corner of the rectangle. And we have a width of 50 after the x axis or x position. So we use the 600 and, sub and subtract it by 50, we get 550. And over here, we'll use the velocity x equals minus velocity x. So now let's see what happens. Now we have a rectangle that bounces off of the edge of the window. So that's pretty cool. Now let's make yeah, let's make the x or let's make the rectangle move from top to bottom. So pretend this is the y. Yeah, pretend it says int y equals zero and V E L y equals two. It doesn't really matter. It you just have to move the x to this right here, the y position, so x. And we have to change the height of the yeah. So it's 400 on the height. So we have to subtract that with 30 since the height is 30. So it'll be 370. Now we have a rectangle that moves from the top to the bottom. And that's pretty good. But you still can adjust it if you want your rectangle to hit exactly on this side of the or the bottom side of the rectangle. Let's see what happens if we use x two times. Okay. Now we have a rectangle that is moving hor no not horizontally, diagonally from the corner of the of the screen to the bottom. So yes, this concludes my tutorial over how to add animation to your rectangle. So stay tuned for my next tutorial and thanks for watching.